if you had crude oil and WTI going from, what, 45 up towards 70, uh, natural gas 250 up into the fours, it would seem like a pretty strong year, but we're pulling back so hard in oil and gas prices from recent highs. People probably wondering what it means for the setup into 2022. You know, broadly speaking, how do you think the industry is set up? Yeah, thanks for having me. I think the industry is set up well. You have companies still discussing capital discipline and not chasing oil prices higher, and that enables them to return more free cash flow. On the oil price more broadly, you have OPEC plus supply group uh, maintaining supply to the market in a way that supported for oil prices. And even in this most recent meeting, December 1st, the cartel kept open the potential to uh, change the supply coming onto market because Omicron data is coming out uh, concurrent with uh, the meeting occurring. So it, it, it's showing that that supply group is going to help support oil prices at least over the next year. When you mentioned that company is maintaining supply discipline, not necessarily chasing prices higher and investing in, uh, in new supply as much as maybe they have in the past, do you consider those companies doing that to be the good bets right here? Or do you think that's just generally supportive of the oil markets? Well, I think both. I think that companies, I, I think that shareholders want more cash returned to them rather than um, growing production like we saw uh, in the prior cycle and earlier this uh, earlier last decade. And at the same time, that helps underlying oil price because you have less supply coming to market. So it's actually helpful for those companies um, on two fronts, both having more free cash flow available and helping to underpin uh, oil price. Jason, given the conversation we're having right now, what are your top picks for oil and gas stocks? Yeah, so I like Chevron and Shell the best, I think, for the reasons that we've discussed. They have, um, looking over the next year and further out, they have the best ability to grow free cash flow and the best ability to return incremental cash to shareholders. Shell, for example, uh, trading at double-digit shareholder return yields out in 22 and 23, and Chevron um, at about 8% or so, and discussing the ability to continue to grow the dividend at about 6% per year.